Right, today we're talking about the Microcare Solar Pump Controller, a VSD, a Variable Speed Drive Pump Controller. And I've got one over here for you, a 5.5 pump controller. And as you can see, it's like all of our products in metalwork, robust, designed really for the conditions here in South Africa. Big heat sink on the back to dissipate any excess energy and some LED indicators on the front. And this is quite important. If you ever have any technical queries and need some assistance, when you phone into our tech support, they're gonna ask you about what are you seeing here in terms of these LEDs and the colors. So you've got a green, a yellow, and a red. The green one will tell you the frequency. The yellow will give us the status and the red any errors and, and typically there will be and it'll give you a, they'll flash and the number of flashes will tell us what's going on with the pump controller so that's quite important so this is the 5.5 controller we'll get into the different sizes in a moment but I do want to tell you a bit about our solar voltage booster quite a nifty little product it's essentially connects onto the panel and it wires into the panel from panel to panel and it essentially boosts the voltage of the panel so why would you want to do that? Particularly in pumping, we have quite a high startup voltage requirement to get the pump working. So this is quite a nifty little product to include. But just to mention, please look at our data sheets on our website. You can't use this on all panels, particularly related up to about 340 watt panels only. And um, not for pumps, probably bigger than 0 0.5, 0 0.75 is the biggest. So there are some limitations to the use of this, but it's quite nice for your smaller applications. You typically could have a small pump controller for your swimming pool, just two, two panels and two of these controllers connected. So check out the solar voltage booster on our website and contact our sales team for more information. We, we want to focus a little bit about the pump controllers and I want to tell you the, the different sizes that we have. As always, there are available information in our training manuals. This is on our website and um, you get all the information as to what is required for them. Right, so we manufacture two sizes, a 230 volt pump controller and a 380 volt pump controller. Now, I wanna just explain a couple of options that you have in terms of what these, these pump controllers can actually run. On the 230 volt, we can run a single and we can run a three phase pump controller. So you could run two different kinds of pumps um, with that same controller, where the 380 is only for three phase applications. Now, in those sizes, we've got a, a, a sort of a window of, of pumps that you can run, and that's sort of the, 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 the availability of this product. So on the 380, this is the big boy, the 5.5. He can run anything sort of a, a 0.3 up to a 5.5 kilowatt pump controller. So if you've got a 0.75, um, starting to move in towards pivot pumps, this, this boy can't run that. All right, this is up to 5.5 kilowatts only on 380 volts and three phase. This one's quite exciting. He, he has quite a variety of uh, uh, applications that he can be used in. On the single phase, we can go from 0.3 up to 1.5. That's the range that he can operate in. So if you've got a two kilowatt single phase, 230 volt pump controller, well, I've never seen one, you're not, not gonna be able to run this pump controller. But you can use this 230 volt in a three-phase application. That's becoming more popular on the market. And in this one, you can run anything from a 0.5 up to a three kilowatt. So that's the largest of the three phases that you can run on a 230 volt pump. So there's quite a variety of pumps on the market, but that's the ranges that our pump controllers can power. Now, how do they get powered? They get powered with solar power. Um, the 230 volt controller has an AC input as well. So if you want to use the grid to power the pump as well, you can do so. Where the 380 volt pump controller is typically used in off-grid applications, there's no AC available. But of course you can have a changeover switch for a generator or if there's grid availability, but it has no AC access into it in the 380 volt pump controller. Right, let's talk about what panels are required. What panels do we need to get these guys to run? Again, you can go along to our manuals on our website and our data sheets, and they give you a bit of an idea of the spectrum. So, as always, when it comes to solar, we want to tick two boxes when it comes to sizing, and you've seen this in our Giza controller videos and other videos as well, and that is wattage and voltage. All right, so we need to make sure that we get the right wattage, and we need to get the right voltage. And I want to explain that a little bit, because I often find that people who size pump controllers and use this kind of application get it wrong. They either have too little panels or sometimes they've, they've over-invested the panels and they don't need so much. So let's start with a 230 volt controller. As a general rule of thumb, when it comes to the wattage, we say that you need at least twice the amount of wattage as the size of the pump. So if you've got a 1.1 kilowatt pump, 1.1 times 2, you need at least 2.2 kilowatts of 
PV pa panels. All right, so you need 2.2 kilowatts of panels. So if you're using 500 watt panels, you're going to need four or five panels to make sure that you've got the wattage. So when it comes to this big 5.5 kilowatt pump controller, you need at least 11 kilowatts of PV up in the sky, shining north hopefully, and that's going to be enough power to hopefully start the motor. So you need at least double. But you'll see that that doesn't always work because in this application we also need to make sure that we connect on the voltage side. There's a voltage window. So wattage, rule of thumb, twice the size of the pump. Voltage is very specific to the pump controllers. And if I look at the data sheets now in our manuals, it'll tell you that the 230 volt controller needs to have a voltage range of 365 to 550. Right, let's just write that down. Can you still see that? Eh? Here, cool. 365 to 550 volts. Okay, 365 to 550 volts. Let's choose a typical panel. Let's go for 550 watt panel with 50 volts. Can you see it if I write at the bottom? Okay, 550 watts, 50 volts. Okay, typical panel that's used a lot these days. This panel now, remembering the window that I've got to fit into. If I'm only using two panels, on, I said two panels on a pump controller for maybe a swimming pool, two panels is only going to give me 100 volts. Gareth, that's never going to work. But that's where the voltage booster comes in. Okay, he can boost the panel's voltage by up to 10, 15 times. So that's why the voltage booster becomes really good in those swimming pool applications. But on the larger side, maybe like a 1.5 kilowatt pump, we need at least enough panels to give us 50 volts up to 550. So you can see 50, 550, 10 panels is pretty much the max. So you're looking 8 to 10 panels to fall within that window. So remember, you've got to fall within the wattage window, but you've got to fall into the voltage window as well. So often we find people like just reach the, the wattage window, they're like, oh, four panels, two kilowatts, a one kilowatt pump, that sounds great. But four times 50 is only 200 volts, and we can see that's not going to start the, the pump. Okay, this 380 volt even more so. Okay, if we look at the data sheet now, in our, on our website and in our manuals, he's going to say that we need up to 850 volts starting at 565. Let's just write that down. 565, we're going to go up here quickly, 565 to 850 volts. Again, all in the, in the manuals for you. 850 volts. So for this big 5.5 kilowatt pump controller, remember wattage times 2, 11 kilowatts. So I could get away with maybe 12 panels. No, I can't because 12 times 50 is only going to give me 600 volts. Okay, that's maybe just in the window. So that's going to work then. All right, so we want to fall within the window. 10 panels won't work though. 10 times 50 is going to give me 500 volts and that's not going to start up that pump. So the question begs in, where should I be in that range, 565 or 850? And the same on the, on the 230 volt pump controller. And I always like to say to people, if you have a, an application where you need water pumped a lot, then don't, don't, don't lean on the low side. Go more towards the higher voltage, which means that in inclement weather, the pump's going to run. But if you maybe are pumping water out of a borehole and you're just needing it for feeding your cattle or uh, to go into a holding tank, then you can err on the lower side. So go towards the higher side if you want water to be pumping a little bit more often. Okay. So all of this information is available, of course, in our manuals and our websites. We've even taken the liberty of creating a couple of kits. So across all the com common pump controller sizes, what's, what do you need in terms of the micro care kit? Can I use a booster? That's all available for you on our website. But as always, please contact our sales team. We're more than happy to assist. I think people are surprised at how good this product is. We recently had a gentleman from Zimbabwe who's been running with one of our pump controllers for years. He drove all the way down there because he's so reliant on it. There's no grid power available for him. And he, he, he came down from Zimbabwe all the way to the factory and he waited for it to be fixed before driving back. So it really is a good product. Um, it's used across the continent and it's wonderful for rural applications. Anywhere you need water pumping, put some panels up and use a MicroCare VSD pump controller. Right, if you have any questions, if you want to know whether it'll work for your application or which panels to use, please contact our sales team. As always, go along to our website, microcare.co.za. Right, that's it from us. Have a good day. Bye for now.